Friday, August 6th, 1943. Number 7. Dialogue with Gita. As a result of last week's lesson in measure, I decide to ask very few questions today. Ask. I don't see things clearly. My heart is weak and hesitant. How could I see you more clearly? How could I better feel your presence? I would like to form myself after your image. The creature perceives the lack, yet the divine, the only reality, can be but intuited. May your intuition guide you. How could I carve your words into myself so that they shine? I always fear that they will fade. Fear is the refuge of the weak. There is no question of my wanting to belong to the weak, thus I am quick to protest. I am not that afraid. You are that afraid. Then I will work to free myself from it. Do not work. Believe. Believe, and then there is nothing to be afraid of. I feel this belief to be not religious confession, but a living, transforming force. Listen well. The measuring of suffering is unknown to you. Ever since childhood, I have avoided suffering whenever possible by lying. But when I do suffer, then I torture myself mercilessly with self-reproaches. Welcome suffering as a messenger from heaven, but let it depart when it is ready to leave. How can I welcome suffering and still be joyful? By following the good path, your own path. I have more questions, but recalling the lesson of measure, I remain silent. I speak. We are not disappointed in you. Friday, August 6th, 1943, number 7, Dialogue with Lily. I thank God that you were allowed to come again. An atmosphere of deep reverence follows the word God. And I'm grateful for all that I've received this week in Budapest. Lily had felt unexpected help. I have not thanked with prayer for all this. Your work is your prayer. Prayer is wings for the wingless. Your wings are already growing. Will you tell me what my weakest part is? I would like to improve it. No, for the time being, simply rejoice. Lille has suffered from an extremely unhappy childhood, and joy has been her greatest lack. I was happier this week than ever before in my life. I was happy too, my little servant. Lille has been trying to define her professional work. I was unable to complete my task. It will never be completed. I wanted so much to bring something whole, something well-rounded. Roundness belongs to the infinite. Gesture forming a spiral. I feel that I have so much to do. Much is illusion. 
If you feel it to be much, then you are in error. There is not much, but just one thing to be done. Gesture of offering upwards. May heaven bless you. There are moments during the dialogues when I am afraid that I will not be able to write down everything that is said. But then Lily's teacher waits until I have caught up before proceeding to the next topic. This occurs several times, which seems to indicate that our note-taking is desired. Friday, August 13th, 1943. Number 8. Dialogue with Gita. Before the dialogues began, we all occasionally had impressive dreams, and to distinguish these from ordinary ones, we referred to them as teaching dreams. Each of them had a powerful effect on all of us. We would often discuss them at the breakfast table and try to unveil their hidden meaning together. Hanno's dreams in particular were often concerned with universal themes, as I became more and more aware with the passage of time. It is time to ask. Last night, I know that I dreamed of a new host, but I do not understand the meaning of the dream. The host is an image of creation. The new host is an image of the new creation. Matter appeared to be very important in the dream, but that too is unclear to me. Listen carefully. Human sin, Adam's sin, caused matter to be cursed. When the curse ends, matter will again be sacred. Matter is the child of God. How might I strengthen my belief in such a way that it would lift me above duality? It is not your belief that is weak, but your vision. I do not understand. You look, but you do not shine. Your eyes are not made for looking. Do I look to the outside too much? No. Look in a completely different way. Transform. There is lightning fast flick of the hand conveying a sense of immediate and total change. My love often fails, and it is so difficult with my family. Raising the left hand. The creature yearns for love. Raising the right hand. The creator loves. The two are not balanced in you, and this will continue to be so for a long time to come. Last week I expected your answer to appear on a white sheet, as you had said, but it came in another form. Your mistake was that you paid attention only to the form. Oh, that is true, but you answered me just the same. The true question brings forth its own answer. Hannah later warns me. Don't ever, even for a moment, depend on the strength of your angel. Only your fire calls forth the answer. After a silence, such feelings separate you from me. I cannot descend to that level. True feeling is different, as I will soon show you. Let us pray. We all remain in silent prayer. 
My heart lifts and I am filled with a deep peace. This is true feeling. May you be blessed. Friday, August 13th, 1943. Number 8. Dialogue with Lily. I thank God that you have come again. I'm listening to you. Is it all right to completely let myself go when I am alone? Only upwards. Why am I so often in despair and torn in half? You are not always united with your other half, but you are not far from being one. You are making progress. Would it be right for me to teach small children? You are a child yourself. What is the problem? I do not have enough contact with children. The separating veil is what is known. Believe me, there is no difference between adults and children. Why is it that I'm so seldom able to be a child? Know the divine and you will again become a small child. I still try too hard to find the divine. It is who who seeks you. Let yourself be found. That is very difficult. That is your task. Help others to learn it too. I would like to always feel as happy and fulfilled as I do now, but often I just feel flat. Why does this happen to me? Because the sprout is still small. Speak. I'm afraid to go back into the city. Lele spends only the weekends in Budaliget. The dark political atmosphere in Budapest creates an unsettling pall that affects all of its inhabitants. What are you afraid of? That the city will drag me down because I'm not yet strong enough. Fear not! I am helping you. We will be together. The city has become an empty seashell. Inside, it no longer exists. It is a petrified curse. Even its dust is cursed, for nothing grows in it. But in you, the sprout grows. Take good care of it. Raise your heart. For the first time in her life, Lily feels the force of true prayer. She bursts into tears. See how near U is? If you raise yourself up into the infinite, we can always be together. Friday, August 20th, 1943, number 9, Dialogue with Gita. Last night I had a dream. I'm standing on a seemingly endless plain. Suddenly a white horse of tremendous strength and beauty appears. At the same time, a spiral-shaped pathway winds up into the heights, I feel that the white horse would be able to carry me into these heights. I'm ready. What does the white horse mean? 
become able to ride it. How? By becoming lighter than the horse. What is it in me that is so heavy? During the dialogues, Hannah's language is of exceptional beauty and simplicity, close to the very roots of Hungarian. However, in this case, she finds only a trivial slang expression for what is to be communicated, and my angel is reluctant to accept this. Don't let yourself be done in by the deceiver. I recall that I was very judgmental the day before. Oh, do you mean yesterday? Yes, I fell right into the trap. How could I avoid that in the future? Be more aware. Ask. How might my pictures radiate the new light and awaken desire for it in everyone who sees them? The light shines through you. I will tell you something. Light is the same as light. They sound the same, but the weight of the sound, the resonance, is different. Should I take up painting? You will surely succeed at it. Each of your pictures is a step upward. Begin at the bottom, don't fly. You have wings, but many others do not. Do you understand now? Oh yes, now I do. I am happy and Hannah feels my angel rejoice. We can already talk together. Ask. How can everything I do become an offering? Every act that is not for yourself is an offering. How might I free myself from my little I? I despise it. By not despising it. I do not mean my body. I know perfectly well what you mean. It is clear you despise it because you are afraid of it. It teaches you in the same way as I do. Learn to love the cursed, and you will find your rightful place. What is the quickest way to find my place? By not hurrying. The one who hurries hurries only towards death. Pointing in the direction of the garden where Joseph is reading. He tarries. Who? The sun, I cannot name names. I realize that our given name is not the true one, that which expresses our deepest inner nature. In haste you approach death from the fore. In lingering you approach it from the rear. In acting at the right instant you know no death. Hannah sees an image of what has been said. Life itself is a vertically vibrating line, fine as the finest edge of a sharpened sword blade. By acting in the right instant, we are this line, in the here and now, and alive. If we rush, we are in the future, death from the fore. If we linger, we are in the past, death from the rear. Acting at the right instant is being in touch with eternity enough for today. You will be able to create. The hands hover over mine and I feel a force pass through them. Friday, August 20th, 1943. 
Number 9. Dialogue with Lily May I ask? Affirmative gesture. I don't understand the lesson I received last week in Budapest. Lille had tried to sense in which of her students the new seed might sprout. Do not judge. Who is the driving force? If a seed is there, it will sprout. Do not try to find where it is. Your judgment is not necessary. Thank you, and thank you for last night's dream. Being awake is more important than dreaming dreams. I would like so much to be awake. You are dreamed. What does that mean? Dreams are images. You too are an image, but soon the divine will awaken in you. How can I help the members of my family? You have a big family. It helps through you. Have faith. Why do I have pains in my back and neck every morning? As an undesired youngest child, Lily has been oppressed by her family since birth. Now the angel makes her aware of her real family. All of humanity. You... You were obliged... To bow before the unworthy. If you bow before Ö, who alone is worthy, you will be made straight again. Does every physical illness have a psychological cause? A tree bears fruit. A good tree bears good fruit. Matter is neither good nor bad, for it is essentially inert. The pain in your back does not have its origin in your back. Now it is my turn to ask a question. What have you been happy about lately? My dream, my good day in the city, and most of all, you. Only in joy am I present. May you be blessed by heaven. I noticed that the word God is seldom used, perhaps because this word has been so overused and covered with speculative thinking and sentimental emotion and has lost the sense of the sacred. But when he or him are voiced, we feel touched to the depths of our beings and we experience a sacred dimension.